Welcome to the 2017 meta and Muse Genesis Supernova. What's good? It's your boy Rico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. And in today's episode, we are going to be featuring the 2017 meta, or I guess the 2017 anti meta. Now, this was the deck that we utilized during that time. We had the Mew, because Mew's always been consistent throughout the history of Pokemon Duel. We had Sceptile, Sceptile to deal with the Deoxys. A, man, how good did it feel when you went up against DOA and they respun you? And you hit your Leaf Blade twice. Well, you hit the Leaf Blade twice, twice. Like, how gratifying was that? Or the Stealth hit. Uh, we always had the Gyarados, I mean, the Magikarp into the Gyarados. That was pretty meta. Verizion, Verizion with being able to move through figures, except for Zapdos. I totally forgot, or figures that are, I think, flying or had sore. I definitely forgot about that and kind of messed up multiple times trying this deck, trying to go through my own Zapdos. Yeah, it didn't work. But be able to go through the figures and the Typhoon Slash. We had the Terrakion, the Terrakion to deal with Coco. And, I mean, deals well with uh, Marshadow. And then also Zapdos, because Zapdos, before Zoro, Zapdos was the number one. He was actually the number one miss in the game, like number one red attacker in the game. We used to nickname him Miss Dose. Uh, but he pre had a pretty large gold, and it was the first figure that I think, I believe, I chained to level 10. So I have a couple matches to show you guys with the 2017 meta, and I do have something special towards the end. It's a, it's a feature of me versus Supa. So before we jump into that, we do have a rainbow booster. Let's unlock this, and I mean, we have every figure. It doesn't even really matter what we get, but chain, I guess, right? Um, Heracross. I already have three, so I guess that's just for the second chain on the second Heracross, and then it'll be hitting for 51. But let's jump into the matches. Okay, guys, in this first match, it's going to be against... It's kind of like a rush deck. Uh, it does have Mars Shadow. It does have the Bayonet. I mean, guys, those are the only two things that can rush me. But it's interesting that with this man here, Alex, is rushing or using a Bayonet deck without multiple Bayonets. I mean, they do have half or more than half of the deck being the ghost. I mean, this deck's not that bad. I would actually get rid of Bayonet for something. If you're going to run Bayonet, you might as well have multiple Bayonets. So I don't agree with having the Bayonet here or something better. Um, but look what they're running. Pretty standard plates. And what I'm actually happy about having the Terrakion is we can actually deal with Mars Shadow. So even if he takes the entry point, I'm still going to attack him. I'm not going to DC even though there's been times like in 2017 where Coco would come right here. I would move my Terrakion here. He would move right here. And I'm just like, I'm just going to attack. Your blue goes away. And then either my Terrakion will hit protect or it'll roll a miss. And then I'm super salty and I lose. But... Too much ranting. He's going to bring up the Marsh Shadow. We're going to counter here with the Terrakion. Like I said, if he wants to cover, take the entry point. That's fine. I'm just going to attack him. But I see he's going to rush here. So now we have to bring our Gyarados, I mean our Magic Carp on our goal. And after running this deck a couple times, like, if I do get rushed, I kind of don't have a goalie. Like, I don't have a goalie that I actually turn to. Uh, but it looks like he's going to attack her. He's going to knock me out, which is better than, well, yeah, it's better than being cursed. So now I'm going to have to cover goal here with my Gyarados. Oh, and by the way... We are rocking the EX Gyarados. Please don't yell at me. I wanted to run the rare Gyarados, but, like, come on. Like, the rare Gyarados doesn't add any benefit to this deck whatsoever. I, I guess I forgot to show you guys my plates. Run the DC, the Mighty Sphere, and the Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet is definitely imperative. Run when you're running a Gyarados or a Feebas or a, Feeba or a Magic Card. That way you can KO the opponent, you stay on the board, and you evolve. So... Uh, they're going to take the entry point here, and because you're going to do that, I'm going to rush up with Mew. You know I'm going to do that. And he brings on Lucario, and listen, guys, I know you've seen this a million times, but I had to do it one more time, okay? I had to do it one more time since the game is ending. We did get the shuttle flip cheese. Let's go. GG, boys. I know we didn't really get to show off this deck, but I promise you this next match is insane. All right, guys, in this match, let me just, like, Listen, I know I complain about RNG so much because when I want to do things for the tube, like, I just want it so bad. Even if the odds do seem like they're there or maybe they're not that favorable, I'm like, come on, dude, for the tube, please make it happen, please make it happen. And it never happens. Well, let me tell you, this match, my dreams came true. Almost everything that I wanted to happen, happened. So, all right, we're going up against uh, this player. 
No, well, they do have a runner. I didn't see the Savali there, but they have a pretty good deck here, like uh, all ground mons, and they do have the Metallic Necrozma, which I still have not got. I don't even know if I'm going to get it by the time Pokemon Duel ends, but watch how this match unfolds, all right? I go first. I'm going to Mindosphere. I'm not really worried about the Savali. They're going to bring their Dawn Wings as their goalie. I'm like, okay, that's fine. We're going to do what we did last game. We're going to see if we can cheese them. Opponent knows better, so now we're going to take the entry point here. They bring on the guard chomp. We're going to counter here with our Sceptile just in the event. He does want to attack me. Look how large my uh, stealth hit is. And then we can get a surround set up, but he's going to bring on the Savali. And I'm like, all right, we're just going to counter here with our magic card because what I want to do is I want a Rocky Helmet, but then they bring on the Steelix. Now, Steelix is all annoying, super annoying. So I bring on the Verizion. Like, it's still a Verizion is still a good figure. It's still a good meta trap. Like, when you set up the. We'll call it the Verizion wall. Two figures here. You bring the Verizion here. It forces the opponent to move up or protect them. And e it even has that one plate. I forgot. It gives it like plus two, st plus two stars. It's some sort of grass plate. Like the concentrated fertilizer or something like that. But it kind of puts them in a weird position that they don't want to be in. But we're pretty good. If Garchomp wants to come here, we can surround here. We're bringing our Zapdos over just because this has a little... I don't know why, actually. We probably shouldn't have brought the Zapdos here. But I did just to bring it next to the Steelix. So that's what we do next turn. Then he's going to bring on his other Steelix. I see he's going to try and set up a surround here. So I'm going to move out of the way. And now what they're going to do is Golden Sphere so they can turn everything gold. That plate is just ridiculous. So we're just going to bring on our Terrakion. He's going to set up... Um, he, I don't know why he moved here. He doesn't have the swap spot, so I'm like, okay, if you move there, I'm just going to attack you. That's fine. But it looks like the opponent wanted to set up another surround, so I back off. And then what my opponent does here, he attacks with the Savali, which I don't agree with because Savali does not really have any good odds. Doesn't have that great of odds of taking out the Mew. I mean, look at this thing. Anything with Swords Dance, like, all of the, the chances of hitting these rolls are just amplified. So, he could hit the Explosion. I can hit my Hypersonic. He can hit the Return. It's not going to KO me because if he hits the Swords Dance. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was that great of an odd. And we did get the Clutch Roll. We did hit the Psychic. We did get the 104, so that's good. But because we got this, rid of the Savali, I'm going to ride that momentum. I'm going to go and attack the Steelix. Hopefully they hit their takeaway into our Hypersonic. And it worked. I was like, yo, what? why am I getting RNG? Like, what is going on here? Uh, so he's going to attack my Zapdos, and unfortunately Zapdos gets taken away because he likes to hit Steel Wing and Miss and just never the Thunder Crash. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack the Dawn Wings because I want to get rid of its ability because 50% of my will is gold. So I want to have a great shot at KOing this Dawn Wings. Actually, I don't even think this man has, like, the regular, um, let me see. Yeah, they don't have the Ultra. They don't have the Ultra. I don't even think they have the regular Necrozma to go into. Oh, they do. Yeah, okay, they do. So because he moves over the guard chomp or the go bite, what I'm going to do here is uh, we cover goal for some odd reason. But now we're going to move the Verizion and we're going to threaten the surround here on the go bite. Opponent doesn't see it coming, so we're going to DC here. And I'm like, come on, let's give me that Typhoon Slash. We haven't been hitting it. Boom, we hit it the first time. I was like, okay, let's go. Welcome to my PC go bite. And then my, we set up another surround here, but my opponent doesn't see it for some reason. So now we got two of their mons in our PC, and now he's going to attack here, and we get saved. We get the Typhoon Slash on the explosion. I'm like, all right, let's go. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm like, all right, let's try and get rid of the Steelix. We're going to uh, Rocky Helmet here. We're going to hope for the explosion. We don't get the explosion, but we do get rid of the Savali. And this is really crucial here. Before we even made this play, I was like, you know what I want to do? I want a Z move with the Mew, and I want to attack into the Savali because I want to try out the Genesis Supernova. But if I did that, um, I'm in no position to end the game because Mew gets excluded. The Verizion's right here. doesn't have 3 MP. So I was like, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the perfect opportunity. My opponent's going to Z move here, and because he Z moved, I was like, okay. What we need to do is we need to attack with our Sceptile, and we need to hit the Stealth Hit. Once we hit the Stealth Hit, we'll be able to take the Entry Point. And once you take the Entry Point, I'm assuming my opponent is going to bring on this Steelix. And when he does, this Steelix has purple. This Dawn Wings has a lot of purple. My Z-Gage is still up, so the plan is Stealth Hit, take the Entry Point, um, Z move with the Mew into the Steelix, have both this Steelix that's right here and the Dawn Wings roll, they roll purple, and then I'm going to Mega with my Sceptile for the game. So I'm like, all right, give me the Stealth Hit, please. Boom. Stealth Hit. I was like, no way. This is too perfect. Brings on the Steelix. I'm like, dude, I can't contain myself right now. I'm like, please, please for the two. Please, 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 please. Don't land takeaway. Please don't land takeaway. Come on, Mew. Or come on, Steelix, don't hit it. And he hits the Rock Posh. I was like, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Now all they need to do is roll purple, and that's GG boys. Please, please, please. Boom! They both roll purple. Let's go. GG boys. We can now make it with a septile. And that couldn't have gone any perfect. I feel like this is like Rico Trials. Like one of the challenges is KO three mons with Muse Super or Genesis Supernova. And we just accomplished that challenge. Let's go, GG boys. Oh, dude, that match felt so good. It felt amazing. But all right, guys. Now I want you guys to enjoy this match between me and Supa. He had six mons maxed out. That's insane. Wait, who are we playing? Did Zombie get in? Wait, is it Supa? <laughs> it is Supa. Yo, what mask is that? That mask is fire. Oh, did I fix my plates? Hold on, what plates did I have? No, oh, stop it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh man, there's like legit like Terrakion has no purpose to do anything. Like at all. I guess maybe for the Savali. Uh, is this only level 5? This is only level 5. Alright, now we're going to scare the Supa. He's going to put something right here, probably. Oh, very nice. I was going to do this. I'll give you options on which ones I wanted to go for. Explosion. You know what? Let's try and get rid of this Arceus. We're going to attack here and hopefully he gets Explosion. Nice. <clears throat> okay, um, hold on. So if I do this, you air balloon with guard chomp. Actually, that's fine. Oh, we need a mighty sphere is what we need. We need Mighty Sphere on this deck. That gets the KO. Mm -mm -mm. He's got to bring on Rhydon. He has to. Wait, do you have Long Throw? No Long Throw. Yeah, he has to bring on Rhydon. Archomp. Where are you going to go? Right here? Okay. Hold on. Do you have count? You don't have counterattack. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I, guess, I guess this is what we do. We just go for a game, right? Yeah. No counterattack. This is what it comes down to. What up, Marshmallow? You know what I can do? We can go block here. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. What's your Z move at? Um We can either go for game or we can go block. Because let's see, 190. If you hit 190, I can also hit 190. But we can also get the uh hurricane. So, we're going to go block here. <clears throat> Got to watch out for the Z move, though. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. <laughs> so, now we got to just go for it. Oh, 
all comes down to this. Super, here we go. Can we get it? Damn. <laughs> GG.